brought that one. Oh, oh okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, shit, we're recording, we're live. All right, people, we're doing something a little bit different today, but before we get started, I guess she already started, so fuck it. Anyways, um, we're, this is the first time doing a dual con with my good old friend, two girls, one bus, so both of the people, so, I mean, say hey to the people. Hey, people. Okay, so, I was watching 402 Thunder, if you guys don't know, he's a Call of Duty YouTuber. Um, he was basically talking about some current event that happened in March or May about this 16-year-old who punched this 12-year-old with brass knuckles. And this game was called the Knockout Game. Some of you guys should know I mean, it. Yeah, everybody knows about the Knockout okay, Game. Okay, yeah, I do, but anyway, it's kind of old. It's right? not really current, though. I mean, but it's kind of, you know, old shit, right? It's kind of old. One more question is, what made him bring it up all of a sudden? Yeah, what made him bring it up? Uh, who? Yeah. Who, who? The person I watched? Yeah. Because uh, he was just discussing it because um, it it's just random, but... It's the, okay, so if you guys do not know, we will be linking the <laughs> video down below in the comments. We ain't get no copyright claim on shit. Um, this 16-year-old was just talking to... Wait. Did your daughter just shit like that, dude? <laughs> she tooted it like a motherfucker. Anyways. <laughs> this 16-year-old was just... So his, his 16 year old and a couple of his friends were recording a video. He had brass knuckles in his hand, and this 12-year-old was talking to some other girl. Wasn't doing nothing, wasn't provoking them for what we seen from the point of view of the video. Wasn't saying nothing to them. Well, according to the other witnesses, he, he, even, he wasn't even paying no attention to the nigga. Huh? He never said nothing to the nigga in no way, shape, or form. He was trying to get some pussy. That's what he tried yeah, to get. Yeah, right? he, he was trying to get some pussy. Okay, well, that's what you're trying to get some vagina. But he was talking to this girl, and apparently the 16 year old snuck up on his kid. I not know, just, apparently, too. You see the video. He. He did. He snuck up on him and he punched him in the fucking in the fucking face and knocked him out. Yeah, he knocked him out. He didn't hit him once. It didn't, he so, didn't he hit him like two or three more times after that shit? Yeah, multiple times. And I know if it hit with fucking brass knuckles, but I know that shit got to fucking hurt. Especially, he already knocked him out with the first hit. He just kept on hitting him because he yeah. Was and then you see the thing. The, the thing about it that, that that you see in the report is he said the guy claimed that he knew MMA and then he could whip his ass. <laughs> And it's like, well, even if that's the case, my nigga, you sneaking up on him. With brass. You got to use brass, with, with brass to, knock, knuckles, to knock him out, though. That, 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 show, that shows it right, right then and there. You're a pussy. And they're going to fuck you in jail, boy. Yeah, they're, trying, they're trying this kid as an adult. And you know what? I don't feel sorry for him in the least. I feel sorry for him just a little bit. But it's the fact that you had to snuck up on, sneak up on him. That's all right. Well, his cellmate going to sneak up on him, all right. You're going to be back here today, but... Uh, he gonna, wait, he they gonna, can actually put him in a cell like that, though? Yeah, the fuck? They trying this, man. They trying this dude as an adult. But isn't that kind of, you know, a little harsh to put him in so someone that's fucking probably 50? They put him in a cell like that? about 30 and 40? Isn't it harsh for him to be 16 beating up on 12-year-olds? I mean, it's kind of... I mean, look at that fucking lag. But, you know, it's... It, <laughs> <laughs> you know what the fucking lag or that bullshit. Um, but... I don't know, man. It's just that he knocked him out with brass knuckles and held him multiple times. And the girl stopped him. She didn't know what the hell was going on. You know, I mean, was it a setup? We don't know, but it's just the fact yeah, that. So it wasn't. It couldn't have been a setup. The nigga was minding his business. Yeah, he was minding his business. I don't dude think. just wanted to show off for the camera. Show off for the but camera. But it's the fact now. that she posted it on social media. That's, that's also the dumbass thing about this shit. Yeah, people of people this generation are so stupid because they'll commit a crime. And you know what's funny? I live I'm, 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 I live in this generation. I'm in the middle of it. You know, you know what the bad thing about it is? I can't even just say it's your generation that's stupid because this dude is my age that have done some stupid shit and then they post it on fucking Facebook. It's just like the the three black dudes that stole $100,000 worth of jewelry pawned the shit for only two, for like 3000 mind you, so they're fucking idiots. And then... Fucking posted and then, then, then put a recording on fucking Facebook Live with them, with them holding all the money and shit. But then when they got caught, they're like, how did we get caught? What happened? Bitch, you posted it on Facebook. What do you think? Everybody know you don't got a job. So obviously you did something illegal for the money. And then I posted on people's posts on Snapchat. See, if I rob a bank or anything, do anything stupid, if I, God forbid, rape a bitch or do anything stupid like that, which I'm not. I would not brag about it. I would keep some shit like that to myself. Rape bitch. Or, or something oh, yeah. like that. I don't say, I ain't rape bitch, you know. But it's also the fact. And then he also broke his teeth. Mm -hmm. He said he tasted gravel. So that's really fucked up. Because you're 12 and you, about, you basically lost the majority of your fucking teeth. Yeah, exactly. That little kid's gonna need, that kid's going to need fucking. He's probably going to need but, dentures. He's going to need dentures before he's 20 because that dude pretty much fucked up most of his teeth. 
But what we do also while well, watching on YouTube, he said that that the insurance can't cover all that. That's my window. So, but it's just insurance can't cover it, so. I mean, it all depends on if the family's poor or not. If they got money, they can cover it. You know how much money it's gonna cost, though, dude? Oh, it's gonna cost a million. You leaving already? We ain't finished the damn video. We're supposed to finish discussing shit, asshole. So I, I do, I do, I do have a little kid outside. Well, he is being watched, asshole. You know that. Anyway, so yeah, so. I mean, if the insurance can cover it, hopefully they'll probably cover half of it. And half someone else. They probably must have a GoFundMe page, like, probably. Or... Yeah. We'll agree. We'll agree. And also, uh, what the article was saying is that if the uh, the knockout game is supposed to be blacks attacking the whites, right? That's what he said? Yeah, and even that. Close it up to Anybody can do knockout Yeah, yeah but people, they'll say that if the roles no, no, no. If the roles are reversed, it... it in my yeah, opinion. It, it has happened before where a dude was doing knock again. He knocked out an old black dude just because. Just because, yeah. And did it make national news? Was well, some like, like or Trayvon Martin or the Ferguson incident? No, it didn't really make news. Like, he made a They mentioned it once and then they didn't really mention it no more. I threw your um, secret that way. It wasn't nothing else. Okay. You want my. Yeah, I want to drink. Alright, what is it? Alright, I'm going to take it. And it's also the fact that, you know, he, he wouldn't even, what you say, he did he don't look black. He looks, he looks Mexican, so I don't even know why they bring Yeah, him. so, or probably mixed, you know, you know, on the nigga side, but it's part partial on both sides of the border. No, no just offense. because, just because he got a grill, just because he got a grill and had brass knuckles on does not make him black. Okay? Was you playing a knocker game? Just, just, just going off top. Was you playing that shit? No, when I was a kid. Well, if you're going to fight somebody, you fight him head on, at least, at least let them see you punch I mean, I don't see, I don't see niggas get slipped. I, I, from what I, I've seen, I, I never seen shit crazy like that. Oh no, I, I seen them in the house. Nah. My son's on the corner. Nope, I put it right in the house. Hand it to me. Yeah. It's behind my mama good too. Yeah, it's weird. Mm -hmm. it's like, you go back to sleep, baby. So, what you gonna you gonna jail? You gonna prison actually? Yeah, he's going to prison. Yeah, going to prison. They're, they're trying him as an adult. This so, was in March though. This was like a long time ago, but they just now charging him for it or something like that. No, they're they they're, they're, they're prosecuting. Huh? Oh, they jumped on the pier, I'm going to wait. Hey, Caleb. Ah, cheers, good drink. They're planning on prosecuting him as an adult because of the, the heinous, because of how heinous the crime was. Alright, I mean, we know. do live in Houston, Texas. We do see crazy shit like this, but I think we... But you know, you know honestly, you see, people, people can just turn... People can turn anything racial because they they're trying to make it old oh, blacks they're so just savages they don't they just do shit. But you know the real thing about it is the knocker game been happening for a minute. Mm -hmm. You know why I started making national news because white people started getting knocked out. Mm -hmm. When it was niggas hitting other niggas, wasn't nobody worried about it. Now we ain't racist now. Just just catch your problem. I know we. I'm I'm very racist. Don't don't don't. don't okay, I, you know what, I'm not even gonna say. It. <laughs> I'm not even gonna acknowledge what he just fucking said. I but, mean, even, even though I do fuck white women, I'm, I'm still racist, nigga. Don't, don't, don't play with me. Anyways, um, it, it's very tragic and sad that this had to happen. Um, so if y'all did enjoy the little dual com of this little bit of current it events. Just tra it really ain't just tragic. It's just niggas being... It's just he being a pussy. He's being a pussy. I mean... I have to go find him. Well, let him go find him. You know how to find him, sir. Huh? Bro, you gotta go find him? Right there. Oh. So if you guys did enjoy this man, leave a thumbs up. If we see a lot of views or likes, we'll, we'll do more of these probably once a week probably. We'll do take a random current event throughout the week and talk about it. Um, his channel will be in the description box below. Also, the video click the video will be in the description box below. Um, oh shit. I'm going to have a lot more content coming out for you guys today, man. Hope you guys did enjoy it. This was my first game of Destiny, by the way. Yeah, I went positive as the best I did all day. It's, it's Iron Banner and Love Adventures, or it is enabled, so I was kind of at a disadvantage. So, hope your boy did enjoy the motherfucking video. I did get a 360 and helmet, which I kind of needed. But, hope y'all boys enjoyed the video, man. Subscribe if you're new. Check out Blunt's channel. Really good dude. Hope to see y'all later, man.